Nah, nah, the streets out shoot tonight with a cream puff. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a correlation to this kid. This kid is a cream puff, trying to play like a gangster in a thug. That's why he's embracing it with all these hundred millions. They didn't get to do it before now. The niggas who got to did it before now, they, when they get the hundred million, they play square. I gotta ask you, uh, you know, you have a young kid in a uh, job Moran, man, worth three hundred million dollars. Yeah, I hope he go to jail. You, you know, it, it, it's crazy. Mind you, he from Memphis. Yeah, I hope he go to jail. Uh, he's in Memphis. I hope he go to jail. Do you feel like he might be battling some personally though? Uh, nah, he he Still doing be brandishing he, the gun on life. Uh, he he doing what every nigga every nigga like him that want to do that didn't get to live that life. Mm. They want to live it now. We all want. It's just like a woman who never got to hope. When she get a divorce and in that late age in life, she start hoeing. Because she never got it out of her. Ouch. She start partying, going out. Uh, she start living her truth. Well, that's a hoe. Real it, reasons. Whenever you catch a woman out and she living her truth, that's a bitch want to be free as a hoe. <laughs> I'm living my truth. Whenever you hear a woman say, I'm just living my truth, that's a bitch want to be free as a hoe, but don't know how to hoe and sell pussy. <laughs> God I'm going to say it again. That's a bitch that want to live free as a hoe, but don't know how to hoe and sell pussy. Uh -huh. So uh, this little boy here is no different. He like Suge Knight. Suge Knight never got to be a Pyro. Suge Knight never got to gang bang. It was Suge Knight cousins who lived in Compton who was the real niggas. Uh, so that's why when Suge Knight finally got the money, he went and got him a red suit. He got on that big old source magazine, put the cigar in the mouth, he big red Pyro. And to that point, this is what people don't realize in the hip hop culture, he never got to do that. So that's why when he finally got to do it, he was big Suge Knight. And we thought Suge Knight was a big bad motherfucker, and he wasn't. It was the niggas around him. They thought Suge Knight was a cream puff. Nah, nah, the streets thought Suge Knight was a cream puff. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a correlation to this kid. This kid is a cream puff, trying to play like a gangster in a thug. That's why he's embracing it with all these hundred millions. They didn't get to do it before now. The niggas who got to did it before now, they, when they get to 100 million, they play square. They play square. Uh, that's why you see the, 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 the gangsters before now tried to play square. They, from Pablo Escobar, at some point he started trying to get into politicians, but he started out. Uh, when you look at, uh, uh, when you look at Saddam Hussein, Man, all of them started out gangster eventually trying to play square. Same with it. They started out doing the gangster shit, eventually trying to end up in a square role. How do you start out good, nigga, to end up in the gangster role? How? With the money. So I'm saying he need to be killed. I'm saying that he should be killed because gangsters kill, get killed. He should be, he, she should die, uh, go to jail or kill somebody. He shouldn't be playing basketball. He need to quit right now and go put in some, go, go kill somebody, nigga, since you so gangster. Since you want to fight, go on, go to jail and fight where niggas like to fight. Young niggas like to fight in jail. They play basketball there too, but they go fight and fuck. So send him down there where he can play basketball, he can fight, and he can fuck. Would you more so blame his pride or the people around him? Blame who? His pride or the people around him? I blame the people around him. Yeah, I blame the people around him for not, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, but not only do I, I, I blame him first, though. His pride ain't got nothing to do with it. He been a superstar all his life. He ain't never had to fight. Matter of fact, niggas been letting him make it because he's who he is. When a nigga say you can't fight, you can't shoot, you ain't thug, you ain't hard. Uh, I ain't, nigga. <laughs> I'm a star basketball player. You see what happened to the, what's that, the Alabama little nigga or whatever he is, the one shot at the car? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, I seen that story, yeah. You see what happened? Come on, home. Yeah, you, nah, it's real. It gets real. So this, is, so this is what I'm saying. Send him to jail. Send him to the military so he can kill somebody or get killed. Or put him out the NBA and let him go to the streets and be a street nigga. But he should not be playing basketball. He want to be a gangster. He don't want to be no basketball player. 
Let that nigga go be gangster. And y'all quit being disappointed. I'm proud of the little stupid motherfucker. I just can't wait till somebody kill him or he kill somebody. That wouldn't need to happen. Teach his ass a lesson. Cause she a nigga God done bless you with all this motherfucking talent. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's why kids are dying quickly because they they a waste of life and God ain't gonna let them motherfuckers stay down here 40 years. Disobedient motherfucker. The Bible say disobedient child days shall be numbered. So he a disobedient child, so number his days. God kill him. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, yeah, yeah, kill him. Send him motherfucking ass to jail or the graveyard where all gangsters go, where they belong.